Welcome back. Joining us virtually is a friend of the show, Carly Viotar with Festival International. Good afternoon, Carly. How are you? Hey, Taylor. I'm doing well. How are you doing today? We are doing wonderful. We know this time of year we start seeing more and more about Festival International. So what's the outlook looking like for 2021? So we just recently announced our final conclusive plan. Um, as you know, we've spent pretty much since last time I talked to you, you know, sometime last year, we've spent this entire time just brainstorming every possible um, solution to what's going on and how we can still bring Festival International to Lafayette. So of course, it's not gonna look like what we're used to and what we love from the past, but I think the plan we've come up with is pretty awesome. Um, so what it is, we're taking our platform from Virtual Festival 2020 mm -hmm. and we're taking it to the next level. Oh. Um, yeah, so we're going to um, have some live local events um, streaming around town to help support our local venues and bars and stuff like that. And then we're going to still be featuring some of the top acts from around the world internationally. And basically we're getting really creative with that and kind of making it like a, a variety show is what I'm calling it. Um, so it's very awesome. interactive, yeah, and a lot of interactive stuff um, with the community as well. Uh, we saw a great level of support last year, and we're hoping that we get that again this year with everyone decorating. I remember everyone like made their houses look festivaly. So we're <laughs> going to do that again, and we're going to get um, the local businesses involved to just kind of deck out, making their space look like Festival International. And I yeah, love so that. that's kind of where we're at. And so I know yeah. last year that we were kind of in the midst of the pandemic. It was just starting and you guys had to pivot. Have you had to pivot more um, with this year or is it just kind of building off of last year and finding more ways to be creative? Um, well, last year really gave us a great starting point. Um, I would say it's pretty similar. I mean, now, well, last year was like super lockdown mode. Um, so I feel like now there's a little bit more room for uh, downtown to engage more and more restaurants to get involved and stuff like that. Um, we've added an element called Feastival. Did you read Ooh, about that part? I did. It has something to do with food, yeah, so I'm sure. We have 30 seconds. It does. So everybody really missed the food component, you know, all the food vendors from Festival International. So um, in order to support them while also bringing, you know, that delicious food that everyone loves to the picture, we're going to be doing a month of festival food. So I, Feastable will start April 1st. I cannot wait for Feastable yeah. to start and fe virtual festival. Carly, thank you so much for joining us virtually to give us a scoop on everything festival. Thank you. Stay tuned at festivalinternational.org.